And they're gonna get neither. Axe on the Snapfire. Pre-50 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty rough. And they're gonna use it. They're gonna use it right now. <laughs> Onto the TA. Time for death for Avatar mode. Attack. Yeah, it's gonna be... Wasn't it's expecting that. <laughs> Fuck the shards, but hey, there's a way to bypass shards. We've got Toss on our side. I want you early to open up. Early. Make sure they were. Mm -hmm. rolling in. Yeah. And here comes Skem from the other side with his ulti pop. Goes to stun on the Vengeful Spirit. Avalanche coming out as well. They're stacking them both. Abrupt's just gonna be there with a the snowball flying in onto the tiny. Would be taken down with one FBC. Siphoning down Same A. Now wants to play hard. No way to save him. No shards being cast either. Won't Radiant's even help him out that situation. But the silence does come out from Fortune Soul onto the Sven. He doesn't even have a stun available. FBC wants to fight the Bloodseeker. And the Bloodseeker now suddenly on the run gonna get Lucent Beam as well. And Jackie Boy coming in with the Lucent Beam. And the damage is just too much for the Seeker to live. He can Committed for the surprise. Really offer any other damage. It's so hard to kill one target. Many targets. They have board made. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> and oh another God. one. There you. The two yard. Bro. Might, might, might as well. I mean, oh, Jackie Boy. Oh, they almost found an avatar mode, but he just blinks out before the Lucent Beam goes out. But, uh, Fortune Soul. He's not a very fortunate soul, to be uh, to be completely honest here. No pies, picks up a double, and again, your carry's dead. You don't really need more Black Warrior. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom away. tower has fallen. Getting closer. This is really good. I know she's tanking this one. It's really good, but not sure how much they can actually pull out of it. Uh, they're taking down SE. Playhard wants to fight this avatar mode on the high ground, throwing these low ground hits here. Side blade spills flying through. The ancient, uh, sorry, the uh, the Wildwing Ripper helping them out. Fortune Soul getting a recovery double kill. Out. Get to continue with their uh, control here. If Terra does spot two of the heroes. Here's your pit, they're gonna throw and scam into the fight. Landing on the two, one of his kids is burning up with the snowball. Won't buy some time for them, but they're still gonna end up dying as they come out of it. And Playhard's gonna be the third one to drop. Boom, we'll get to three kill kills for themselves, even if TA manages to take that. Life of Luna, level 16 currently. Up ahead, also with the Snapfire, uh, level four, uh, level 15. Both early talents here. We're gonna find the Tusk. Toss in the air. They saw Sami. They're going straight in behind the tower for him. And they will get this done. And now they finally got the vision on him as well. So that's a good And they're going to die again. Almost. Cast range is still pretty underwhelming at level 2. But it is a good surprise element in nighttime. Boom's ready. Spit in. Okay, Jopaj. He's got the initiative. Oh, what a beautiful one. It actually on the Bloodseeker. But the Mortimer's Kisses are going to get burned down with the BK. He's going to be pumped by Fortune Soul right away with the swap coming in as well. And they've got Jackie Boy connected here. They've got the Lunar Eruption doing a lot of damage onto him. And trying to get the stun's connection. And Avatar Mode trying to dish out as much as possible. But they cannot kill Jackie Boy. Jackie Boy. Jackie Boy. Jackie Boy. He almost lives. But the TA dead. Making it four for Boom. And make it even five. That's going to be a Ven going down and the uh, illusion even spawns out so make that number six mm. 
That's up of bad death battle. Okay, here we go. Gobble up again. And on top of Seimei. Found the vengeful spare tins. And the toss comes in. And FPT cookies the other way. As they will take down Seimei for the first time. Following up on the illusion. Mo can go from Neon, maybe? I don't know if they want to do it. They're checking for wards. And Skem's right next to him. Smoke in. Same A. Smoke's popped right away. Bob's in the lane. They see all of them. They're swapping. They're gonna find an EP right away with the BKB from FPC and the Lotus on the top as well. And there's the snowball. We're throwing back with the Lotus. And Tim's taking some damage, but Avatar Mark goes with the safety blink back towards the high ground. FPC still kicking up the chase. They're gonna lose some beam onto it. the Goblin coming in as well. Tim's looking for the target to go for. It's gonna be the TA. It goes for the toss as well. They're gonna be throwing Avatar Mark all the way to the low ground. The stun connection. That's gonna be boom. Take it three. Make it four. And looks like the game as well. Because they're gonna go into the high ground. Take straight tier fours. GG called. And that is a 29 minute game for Boom. Yeah, but the, 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 the,